It's Charter California Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Mike Spence is back. He is a member of the West Covina City Council, which recently had a fairly controversial vote dealing with smoking in certain public places. Let's go back. We remember in the mid 1990s. What did California do in the mid 1990s? Oh, well, they banned smoking in, in various places. As right. Well. Workplace, right. restaurants. The question of bars continues to be somewhat controversial. Then in 2004, as it related to public buildings, what happened back yeah, then? Yeah, they, they banned it uh, within 20 feet of public buildings. That's right. And then in 2008, they passed a law of the state that adults could not smoke in cars with minors. Correct. So those are the state laws on the books. And actually there's one now too for landlords can actually restrict who rents there on their smoking as well. So a lot of laws in California was a forerunner back in 1995. A right. lot of states have followed suit and there's this idea that if you're in an enclosed place, a workplace, a restaurant, a plane, uh, at a near a public building that you're impinging on the rights of others because of the secondhand smoke. Have you heard that from your constituents, this concern about that secondhand smoke element? Uh, I've never heard it in regards to where West Covina ended up banning it. And we I can go not, there. Yeah. I was trying to spread it out, yeah. but let's just go there <laughs> if we can. So West Covina recently, uh, the, the question was presented what was that question? The question was, should we ban uh, public or smoking in our parks? And that's the key. You're focused on parks, on paseos, I guess, right. which is kind of small pocket parks, yeah. and at the Civic Center? And at the Civic Center as Meaning well. outside. Outside past the 20 feet zone. That's oh, I see, public because buildings. that was the key. And yeah. so uh, I saw you posted a poll on Facebook. What did your constituents say on Facebook, if I may? Uh, they were mixed. They were very passionate about really? it on both sides of it. Some people don't like smoking. Some people uh, d don't think it should be banned in parks. Uh, it, was, it was very interesting, actually, back and forth between the different people. And so let's talk about what happened on the evening of the vote. Was it a packed room? No, it wasn't a packed room. Really? I no, would have thought on this issue, any public comment whatsoever. Uh, well, there was. There were government relations people for like the Cancer Society, you right. know, the people that have a, an interest in banning smoking were there. There are different people that represented some of those organizations. Smokers' rights it. groups? There was no smoker rights person there. Okay, so you have a council of four right now council because four, you have a, a resignation. Mm -hmm. And what happened? What was the, uh, vote? the vote was three to one uh, to go ahead and ban uh, smoking and initiate, you know, police... Uh, action against people who smoke in our park. And where was our friend Mike Spence on the vote? Well, I voted no on it, uh, although I don't like smoking. You know, I come from a religious tradition where it's a sin, actually. You can't get into a church college. You can't have church office. You can't become a member if you smoke. So I don't like smoking. Smoking's bad. Right. Um, but I do think the price of freedom is sometimes you have to allow things that you don't like. And what was your rationale with voting against the ban? It was it was that, that, you know, some of the speaker, speakers talked about we need to create social norms. Right. And I don't think it's really government's role to have police enforce social norms. There's all kinds of things I don't like, um, but right. like I said, there's things I like, and I don't want a government big enough to be able to take those sure. away. What about the notion that in a park, I mean, I presume parks are large. I don't know about the Paseos. Parks are very large. And so are, are your parks overcrowded? Is it, are people Not on really. Top on of weekends, each other? On weekends, sometimes it's a little crowded. You know, the biggest complaint I've ever, I've never had anyone complain about smoking in parks. The people that have complained about stuff in parks is people they perceive as homeless or uh -huh. people they perceive as gang members. And actually, I said, you know, if we were passing out cigarettes to those people, then maybe, <laughs> you know, uh, right. people can have that response. Right. But this was clearly a decision to send a message on what the council believes people should be doing with their own private lives. And I objected to that. And I object to prioritizing this for law enforcement. Law enforcement Is has a lot that, to do. Because West Covina has its own police force. We have force. our own police force. So that means when someone gets in a conflict or a staff gets in a conflict with someone over smoking, they're going to call a police officer. He will be back. His name is Mike Spence. He is a member of the West Covina City Council. My name is Brad Palmer. And you're watching Charter California Edition. Thank you, Mike. <laughs>